Hey everyone, for those of you that have enjoyed my USB Army knife, I have something better for you, something that is cheaper and it's from Waveshare, the ESP32 gig. So let's check it out. Now a good place to start if you are struggling with the USB Army knife is it's wiki. But the thing is, we have done this before and if you want to get the latest release, go to Actions in their GitHub and click on the latest build, which is this one. So you just click this, go to Artifacts and try to find the device that you have. So we have here the ESP32 S3 Geek firmware and you just have to download it. So when you download this, what you will get is three files okay so those three files are let me just open this three files are the partition bin firmware and the bootloader so you're still missing one and that one file is the app zero bin so boot up zero bin so what you're gonna do is you just right click it on the wiki i'll be sharing the link down below also and when you right click it what will happen is you'll be redirected to this other GitHub and all you have to do is click download raw file and that would be the boot up bin. Now, in order for you to put those firmware or those bin files into your ESP32 gig, you have to go to a certain flasher and that flasher is the ESPHan.me which is this one. Okay. Now, it will ask you to connect. And when you, it asks you to connect, what you have to do is, as you can see here, there's this button. You have to press it when you are trying to, what you call it, trying to insert it on the USB slot. So try to insert it. And when you insert it, don't release it, maybe around two seconds. And now you release it. If you do it correctly, when you click connect, you will see this, the USB JTAG serial debug and the COM port that it is connected. <laughs> okay, inserted. So you just click connect. And as you can see, I have it already here. Now, what you, what you will do is you will upload each of the bin files, the firmware files here, corresponding to its um position or yeah it's uh, on the position on the memory position so this one you can see it on the wiki so the partition spin is on 800 boot up is on e000 firmware is on 10000 and the bootloader bin on d0000 okay so what for you to be safe what you're going to do is first click erase and just wait okay now that is finished the next thing we need to do is just click program and that's how easy it is so click program continue and let's wait for it to finish flashing and it is now finished and there you have it you now have your very own firmware usb army 9 firmware into your esp32 s3 gig so let's try some of the functionalities that it has okay so the first thing that you need to do is to have a sd card so remember when you are flashing the firmware on your esp32 s3 gig is that remove the sd card for some reason there are some problems that are happening if you are flashing and there's an sd card inserted into you into your usb device now you'll need an sd card reader like this so let's just insert it if i would know how to insert it correctly okay now when you insert it if the it is a new card it is advisable to right click format it as flat 32 so like this and just click start so I have done that already. 
and I do have a script here which is the recrawl and that's what we're gonna try to run later but if you want to see where you can download the script it is under examples on the github okay so this is the recrawl script and when you download it if you want don't want it to run once you plug it in you need to rename this file to any other name but keep the file extension which is the .ts so because auto run .ts tells the usb army knife to run it once you plug it in not run it by demand okay so that is what is inside on our sd card i'm gonna remove it and i'm gonna insert it to our esp32 s3 so good now so i'm gonna insert it now no every time the esp32 or the usb army knife is running it will have a Wi-Fi access point and the default is the iPhone 14 as my face is blocking it I'll just connect it okay so now that it is connected what you're gonna do is go to for the 3.2.1 port 8080 and let's just refresh it okay so now that it is running this is the web UI of the ESP32 gig or the USB army name so I'll just move my face here okay. so we're gonna run Rick roll okay let's make it something like this okay so we're gonna run Rick roll so this is the reason why it's important for you to retain the file extension because if you don't the file will not be shown in the run script okay so when you execute it the your device will be disconnected to the Wi-Fi access point of the ESP32 simply because it only has one access point and that is the one that is being used to run any Wi-Fi okay so let's click execute so what will happen is can it show it to you without removing the PC but the image of Rick Astley will be dancing on the LCD. The second one is that here on the list of Wi Fi that you have, there will be a what you call it the list of the lyrics of the Never Gonna Give You Up. And at the same time, it will try to go to the YouTube video of Rick Astley dancing and that's all we're gonna that's what we're gonna see here unfortunately i am not connected to the or fortunately i am not connected to the internet so there will be no copyright strike if ever um the video is loaded so let's just click execute and see what happens okay so as you can see it is trying to open a youtube video and that is the youtube video of rick astley and then we don't have an internet so that will not happen and it has been disconnected and as you can see here this is the lyrics of the never gonna give you up song so that is our recrawl attack okay so the next one that i want to show you is the screen capture picture of the usb army knife which is really 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 cool okay as you can see here there's this agent running now usb army knife has an example and how to create the agent that will be that you want to install on someone's machine that you want to monitor okay now once that is installed correctly i have some videos of it how to do it but on this machine it is already installed you just have to go to your web ui and if you see the agent is running you just go to vnc click here and now you can see wait for it <laughs> okay so as you can see that is the desktop that we are also viewing here in the background so it is sending 
images every five seconds okay so this is like the same attack that you can get from like the screen grab from hack five again with just 10 with just a 10 dollar device and in open source firmware you can emulate that really really cool right <laughs> Hey, and there you have it, the USB RB9 running on the ESP32 S3 gig. It's a lot more cheaper, it has a bigger screen and more expansions that you can use. So, if you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos and don't forget, always remember, keep on hacking my fellow hackista.